Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika with all of Shamika and I am back with another video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my hair, braiding it up, but first and foremost, I want to show you all the products that I need whenever I do braid my hair. If y'all hear some itching and scratching and stuff, that's little Bella Wella. You wanna come say hi? That's my little baby. That's my little baby. She needs to be groomed and um, washed and everything, honestly. So I usually take some clips, a rat tail comb, um, and this is every time I do my hair. Um, I use, I usually use the other jam. I forgot what it's called, Less Jam, I think, something like that. But this is all they had in a big size in the beauty supply store when I went, so I got this. Um, I made a concoction of like some type of grease and stuff that I've been using on my daughter's hair. If I could find the clip of the tutorial that I followed on in TikTok, I'll leave it for you. But I put this on my daughter's hair and my hair and y'all when I say it moisturizes my hair, I have three different jars upstairs with this in it. So I usually use this on my parts. And then I saw this. 24 hour lock and pomade formulated for braids, twists, and locks. So I'm going to use this in the front of my hair to kind of lay my edges down. Um, so that's why I'll use this, like my edge control. I used it on my daughter's braids last night and it seems to slick it down. So we'll see. And then hair. So I went to beauty supply store. I just found the hair that I wanted. I want these little like brown ends at the bottom and this right here. So I got two packs. Typically, whenever I braid my hair, I only use one full pack and maybe like one bundle out of this one. So let's fingers crossed that I use them. So, so I don't want these to be small, but I want I don't want them to be big. So I'm gonna do like a medium size. Like when y'all see my daughter's hair, you'll see that she has medium, like medium, medium, because she does not like to sit still when I do her hair. And I get it. She's a kid. She want to play. She don't want to be sitting here getting her hair done all day. Unlike an adult like me, where I sit however long you need me to sit. So when I do my parts, only in the front, because in the back I can't see and I don't really care that much. I'm going to just take some jam, rub it through, and then part it again just to get it like really straight. And when I go to the other side... It'll pro you'll be able to see it better. So I'm just gonna show y'all one, maybe this first row, and then I'm gonna cut on something and watch, and I'm gonna just let y'all sit here and watch me braid my hair up. Cause this is not like a tutorial or anything. So I could get maybe about three braids out of this row, and that's typically how many I put. So again, I'm gonna take my part. I'm gonna put some jam on it just to get the part straight, especially because we in the front of our head right now. And I'm just going to make sure my part is good. I'm gonna take this piece and pull it out the way. And then for my edges, like I said, I'm gonna use the 24 hour. And I'm going to just lay my edges down, kind of get it nice and flat. Take my hair, and I'm not gonna take too much hair. This is normally not the hair that I use, but that's the only hair the beauty supply store had, and I was not about to go to another one. So I always like to take a thick piece and a medium piece, a small piece, overlap them like this. I just lay this on top, grab this. I don't know how to explain that part, but I got all three pieces in my hand. And then the small piece that I made, I'm going to attach to my hair. So it's literally that entire center piece it's just going to get attached to my hair and becomes the third part of the braid. And then I'm just going to braid. Again, I am not a professional. I go down like maybe two or three times and then I will flip it and just start plaiting as normal. And as you go down, 
grab you some edge control if your hair is like mine or just in general to kind of get the hair to be flat i don't look for perfection with my plaits um i just look for it being tight and lasting as long as i need it to last so again i'm not a professional or any by any means and i take jam throughout this entire process that's why i have to get the big jar because i use jam pretty much on this whole braid and then once i get to like halfway down i do not braid all the way to the ends right now because what i do is at the end of once i do my entire head which is the hardest part i will sit on the couch watch something and braid down to the ends so i don't do that when i first when i braid the hair so this is about good this is probably too far but that is the first braid like i said it's not perfect but it's perfect for me for it to be free so that's that and that's actually the first time i've ever i've ever gotten it like on the first try on camera with y'all because i got another video on my channel and if y'all go watch that one you'll see my first braid of the day when i tried to do it baby it was so hard so we gonna go ahead part it these two might be a little a little small but that's okay like the parts take my edge control i don't take too much because this does turn white from my experience and i don't know if it's because i just put too much but i like to kind of twist my natural hair so it stays in place take some hair and this is gonna be very chatty because i like to talk so just know it's very chatty so if you don't like chatty watches or whatever you want to call it then this ain't the video for you so again and i know this is such a bad angle but i'm gonna take it and my hair and the small piece of braided hair is my third piece And then I start the twist to bring it right here because I braid, I guess this is called overhand. Take some jam. And we're going to be doing this all day. So it is, I guess I should have told y'all what time I started. Let me show y'all what time it is. It is 8.25 a.m. So I'll probably be doing this all day. And then when my daughter gets out of school, I will go pick her up and I'll finish her hair. Um, this afternoon as well when she gets out so I sent her to school with the perimeter of her head done as much as I could get done yesterday as much as she would let me because she was pretty tired so I, I understood it and um, as much as she would let me get done last night and I told her I was like well we got to make sure we finish your hair up um, so that's what we gonna do when she get out of school So again, I feel so bad, y'all, because this is not. Hold on, y'all. Good morning. Hey, Sergeant. Hey. All right, I'm back. Chai, that was work calling. That was work, work. So I don't even know if I put cream on here or not. I told y'all I'm so sorry for the angle of this, but I don't know if this is going to be good or not. So I got my hair.
I like to twist it before I get too far. So that way, if it starts looking a little crazy um, and not laid down, I can always cover it up and it won't show as much. Um, especially, I put a lot of jam around where my natural hair ends so that it doesn't poke out too much um you know after i don't have any more of my hair and it's just braid it's just the braiding hair so try to tuck it as best as i can so i use a lot of jam at the top part and then i just braid as normal so i'm gonna show y'all these three that i did and I found braiding them halfway, getting the hard part out the way, the longest part out the way, I guess, um, first kind of helps me get my hair done quicker. Is this tiring? 100%. If I could have, if I just pay the money to get it done, I wouldn't mind, but I know I could do it myself, so I just do it myself. And this will typically last me like a whole at least a month before I start getting tired of it. I'm tired of the way it looks. So those are my three braids. And I can pull them up. They don't hurt. They're not tight. That's what we're looking like.